Would you like to play Guess That Breaking News? Seton is recused because he knows it. Okay. We have music for this? Breaking? Okay. Okay. I'll put it as vague as we can. Someone in the NFL is no longer at their job. <laughs> that could be a player or a coach or a, even an ownership Front person. An office person? Anybody. Okay. So Greenskeeper? Right. Okay. Does this have something to do with me saying this person would be either the coach of the year or fired during this season? Mm-hmm. Robert Sala, he got fired? According to Adam Schefter, ESPN sources say the Jets have fired head coach Robert Sala. That was four minutes ago. Oh, my God. The Jets informed Robert Sala of their decision minutes ago. There will be a new head coach for Monday night's game versus Buffalo. <laughs> Can't fire the quarterback. I think we did, to start a season, a first coach fired segment. Yes. I'm pretty sure I had I, like Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen of the Saints. Yeah. I don't know if it, if anybody had Robert Sala. I, I, no, I think I just said he'll either be coach of the year or fired. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And congratulations. Yay. Yeah. What a mess. That's a bummer. What a mess. Yes, Bone. Uh, preseason odds, first coach to be fired. It was... Uh, Doug Peterson was first. Robert Sala was second. Brian Dable of the Giants. Mike McCarthy of the Cowboys. Mm. Mm. Okay. So Robert Sala is officially fired. Okay. Bill Belichick to the oh. <laughs> for another day, one day contract. Yeah, sign that one day deal. No, I'm just I'm channeling my inner Fox Sports or ESPN of hey, how do we spin this in Bill Belichick? <laughs> I would have told him in London. You know, he's in London. He can vacation. Mm. He does. You don't make him come all the way back and fire him. Well, he does live here, so it's right. it's not like he came back and then he'd have to go back to London. Yes, Eden. By the way, they sound awfully confident that there's going to be a new head coach for Monday. I'm going to guess an interim head coach. Oh, okay, because it says there will be a new head coach. Rogers is definitely going to put in for it. I don't know if that... You know, uh, it, hopefully it's not Nathaniel Hackett. If it's an interim, hopefully it's not Nathaniel Hackett. Yes, Todd. So what's Rogers said in the press conference? Or we can hold players accountable as far as the cadence. Was that pretty much the nail in the coffin after that comment? Where we could feel I, the rift? I, I, you know what? I never thought he was a head coach. He didn't act like a head coach. He was, you know, very good defensive court. Not everybody is meant to be a head coach. And there are certain guys who don't have the personality. They're not wired that way. I mean, you're, you're trying to find the leak in, in your locker room. You know, you want guys to turn in their cell phones. I mean, it, you know, all of a sudden, this is crazy stuff. Just win football games. And I just don't think there was that leadership there. They acquiesced to Rodgers. You're all in on him. Uh, what they did to Zach Wilson was terrible. Like, they it just, they're the Jets. That's it. They're the Jets. Sometimes you don't even need an explanation. Like, what, what happened? The Jets. Oh, okay. That explains everything. Yes, Marvin. Do you try to go for a veteran head coach, somebody who's been a head coach before? Well. I, or Ben Johnson from the Lions. What if you bring out, well, he's going to cost you an awful lot. What if you said to Mike Vrabel, come on in and clean this up. But it's not a temporary job. Would you give somebody, if I'm, if I'm one of these candidates, I don't want a job now. Because I, I want to make sure I have an opportunity. I want to have that ramp that I can go get. I have to be able to have some time before liftoff here. And I don't want to go in and, and have your players, this whole feeling that you have. And you got to figure out if Aaron Rodgers is going to be there next year. So it, to me, it's not a desirable job. I think they do have some you know some fun pieces there. Would you get rid of Robert Sala? If you were bringing in Devontae Adams, I'd be curious about that. 